Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Eastar, and today I have a very cool video for you guys. This is a $500 Genji loadout in Overwatch. Now, what this is, it's 500 currency, and you're going to load out your Genji with some of the coolest stuff on the market. So, if you guys like this video, go ahead and tell me, because I am excited to do more of these if you guys like them. Because they're fun, and they let me look through all the characters, customizations, and stuff. And I like doing that stuff, to be honest. I didn't really think I like... I don't like doing that in other games. But uh, in this game, in Overwatch, I really do. So, let's start with the skin. Now, I didn't want to spend 250 on the skin. And the Cinnabar skin, it, it stands out most compared to the other, other skins in the price range. Um, it, like I said, I didn't want to spend 250 on it. Because that's half the budget right there. And we still have an entire Heriot outfit. Uh, but the Cinnabar uh, skin, it definitely shows off Genji's signature thing. Uh, signature symbol on his chest. And it catches people's eyes as you, you know, run and jump around the map. So I think that's really cool. Uh, the voice line is a little bit different. So the voice line is you're only human. And I think this really captures Genji's kind of backstory and bio. In the sense of that he is a cyborg and he is a robot. And he's not human. But, you know, everyone else is. Or at least mostly everybody else is. So I think this is really cool. And you don't really use the voice line that much. But it is only 25. And I thought this one was really awesome and, and kind of... A throwback if you will to his to his bio and to his backstory and his lore um, of the character Genji so move on to the emote the emote is nothing special right it's the heroic emote but the thing is I didn't really want to spend 250 on something that's not used in every game uh, it's nothing spectacular uh, I would have bought a better emote but they're kind of expensive you know especially if you only have $500 to work with they're 250 each and if you bought a 250 skin and 250 emote uh, emote you would just be out of your budget already so I didn't really want to go too far on the, on the emote, and the fact that there are only 250 emotes, um, I couldn't really do anything about that. So, moving on to the spray, I think this is the coolest spray Genji has. It shows the dragon and the sword drawn, and I like this one a lot. However, as much as I do like it, I recommend the signature spray if you do not like it. Uh, but I really like this. The I really like anything with like the blade in Genji's thing because I think his blade looks really cool, and I think that's awesome that he can like show off his ultimate. I, I like all the characters who can show off their ultimates. Um, in their, uh, in their sprays, and I think Genji's one of the few who can, so, I think May can do that too. Moving on to the highlight intro, this is my favorite intro, and honestly my favorite thing about this loadout, but it's also mine. The one I have equipped, uh, the character coming off screen doing a crazy move, they're cool, so naturally I chose this one. I like those ones, the ones where he comes off screen, does like a backflip or whatever, um, those ones are cool, I like those ones a lot. So I chose this one because I, I like the, um, it reminded me of the Pharaoh one, right, where all the, uh, things come out, all the rockets come out. So I like this one too because it's kind of the same idea. He rolls in, throws the oh, shurikens yeah, at you. I think this one's really cool. I honestly think it's the best one out of all the highlight intros. Nope. So uh, the victory pose is the final one, right? Finally we come to the victory pose and I think the kneeling one is the best because I like this one a lot because it shows off the sword and draws attention to it because it's so bright uh, and everything. So I really do like this one. I wish I had it, but I don't think I do. Um, unless by the time I recorded the video, um, I got it in a loot box, but no, I, I like this one a lot. It's fun and it kind of puts you apart from the rest because there's other kneeling poses, but there's none with like a giant sword next right. to you. So I think it's really cool and I think it really does a good job of showcasing his ultimate ability. So anyway, with that, my name has been Z-Star and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.